Hello, welcome everybody. I'm your sister Taisha, or prophetess Taisha, and I got to get used to that, you guys, because at the end of the day, prophetess are the office of a prophet. That's my title. That's what I do. But if, I just feel like we all sisters and brothers, and you know, we utilize to do whatever God wants us to do. And so it's kind of hard for me to get used to saying prophetess, but I am that. I am that. But with that being said, you guys, I had a dream, and I remember it. And I, you know, I don't really tell y'all the dream because it's not you may not discern and interpret the dream in a way that I would because it was my dream but what God I feel like letting me know is that just because you have a certain amount of money or you have a certain uh, abundance in resources and you are able to do whatever it is that you that your heart desire that does not mean you do that Okay, that does not mean you do that. When God give you whatever it is that He give you, and I'm gonna speak in terms of money because I believe that it was in terms of money. Um, God showed me pretty much in a dream there was a person that was a wealthy person, and this person was in a Kia, and this person could have been in any kind of car that they wanted, but they were driving the Kia because not because they couldn't afford it, but because they were trying to be a good steward of their money, and they were just trying to be live a modest life. So with that being said, I believe that God is saying that what he's about to give us, he needs for us to, just because you got $250,000, don't mean you should take $150,000 and buy a house. You know, uh, just because you got $10,000, I wouldn't recommend you taking five or six of them and buying a car. You know, it's, money don't need to be exhausted. It don't need to be spent up so quick. It needs to be utilized for the right reasons. So I'm here to let y'all know that God is about to give you something. I'm going to say money. I'm going to say money. Whatever that he give you, don't sit up there and spend it all on one big thing when you could have held on to it and you don't know what else you could have done with it. Be wise with it. Ask God what to do. Hold on to it a little longer, but don't don't burn it up. Don't use it up. Just because you got it, right, does not mean you have to get the most expensive thing that money can buy. Sometimes you got to still be wise with what you're, what you're purchasing. So I love y'all. Now, that's the word of wisdom. Amen.